Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new series, Tech Giants. A place where you get all information about the giants of the tech world. In our first episode, we take a deep dive into the world of Reliance Geo, a stalwart in the Indian digital ecosystem. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get all notifications about our upcoming Tech Giants videos. Let's get started. In late April, Facebook made an unusual announcement. They were investing $5.7 billion in Reliance's Geo platform subsidiary, an Indian telecom company with 400 million subscribers. This started an awe inspiring streak of investments. And that's not all, Amazon.com is in talks to make an investment in Reliance Retail. The only remotely comparable funding streak was Uber's 2014-16 fundraising sprint, when they got checks from Google, Qatar's Sovereign Wealth Fund, Goldman, Times Internet, Microsoft, Tata, Tiger Global, SoftBank and many others. If you were in a position to write checks for $100 million or more in 2014-2016, there was a good chance you wrote one to Uber. And if you could write the same kinds of checks in 2020, you probably will write one to Geo. History To understand Geo, you need to understand Reliance. To understand Reliance you really have to start with Dhirubhai Ambani. Born in British India in 1932 in the state that is now Gujarat, Ambani's story is also the story of an India in transition, from colonialism through license Raj to freeish enterprise. Dhirubhai Ambani's story has now become something of a legend. The young Dhirubhai got his professional start in 1948, when he left for the port of Aden to work for French trading house Abes & Co, along with his brother Ramnikbhai. Yemen might seem like a random place for a young man from Gujarat to end up at, but then, perhaps even more than now, Indian labor was crucial for the economy of the Persian Gulf. Much of the Middle East was administered from India till the late 1930s and the Indian rupee actually circulated as the official currency of Aden till 1951. After close to a decade of experience in a trading intrepo under his belt, Ambani moved back to India determined to build a business empire of his own. Ambani's story once he came back to India is relatively well known. With an initial capital of 1 lakh rupees he started a business trading spices and textiles, Reliance Commercial, with his second cousin. To bypass hostile wholesalers and reach consumers directly, Reliance set up exclusive Vimal showrooms and then franchised them to create a network of Vimals across the country. By 1988, Reliance Petrochemicals had been floated. In 1998, Reliance introduced packaged LPG in 15 kg cylinders under the brand name Reliance Gas. The years 1998-2000 saw the construction of the integrated petrochemical complex at Jamnagar in Gujarat. The largest refinery in the world. The present. Reliance Industries Limited is now an Indian multinational conglomerate company headquartered in Mumbai. Reliance owns businesses across India engaged in energy, petrochemicals, textiles, natural resources, retail, and telecommunications. Reliance is one of the most profitable companies in India and also the largest publicly traded company in India by market cap. On the 22nd of June 2020, Reliance Industries became the first Indian company to exceed US$150 billion United States dollars in market capitalization after its market capitalization hit Rs 11 rupees 43,667 crore on the Bombay Stock Exchange. Geo. There is a popular saying, you know if you read the Geo logo backwards, it reads oil. Mukesh Ambani specifically called out the link when Geo was launched in 2016, for Reliance, data is the new oil. Geo is not just a telecom network, it is an entire ecosystem that allows Indians to live the digital life to the fullest. This ecosystem consists of powerful broadband networks, useful applications, best-in-class services and smart devices distributed to every doorstep in India. Geo's media offerings include the most comprehensive libraries and programs of recorded and live music, sports, live and catch-up television, movies and events. Geo is about creating connected intelligence for 6 billion global minds to unleash the power of a young nation. With an array of apps and services, Reliance Geo has slowly but surely cemented its place as a digital powerhouse over the past four years including the growth of GeoMeet, GeoMart in recent months. With an array of startup acquisitions and tech giants, as strategic investment partners give Geo a huge advantage over rivals in India's tech industry. The Ecosystem Besides their 4G connectivity services, Geo has a lot of products and services in their ecosystem. They almost have everything in there. Here are a few of their Geo TV. Geo TV consists of an ocean of more than 600 channels along with 135 HD channels. Users are free to watch their favorite shows all in one place, from Hindi to leading English channels. Geo TV also offers some value adds such as the Geo Sports channels to enhance users' choices. Geo Cinema. It is an app for movie buffs which offers a wide selection of movies across many Indian and foreign languages. Geo Savan. 
The music streaming platform has over 55 million songs and various artists' original programs. This has made it difficult for competitors such as Spotify and Apple Music to form their steady customer base. Geo Music merged with Savan in 2018 and since then continues to be the fastest growing music streaming platform. Geo News This digital news platform that lets customers choose from over 900 magazines, more than 300 newspapers, along with live television, short videos and news articles. All news you need in one place. Geomart Taking advantage of the COVID-19-led restrictions, the company launched Geomart last month in collaboration with Facebook-owned WhatsApp to directly compete with Amazon and Flipkart in the e-commerce space. Geomart now delivers groceries in more than 200 towns across the country. I had tried Geomart recently and it was just awesome. Geo 5G Unlike previous network technologies, 5G won't just connect your smartphone to the internet. It aims to connect everything to the internet. Refrigerators, microwave ovens, washing machines, your TV. Everything. It's meant to deliver more data with higher reliability and offer users a more uniform experience across devices. Geo Glass a mixed reality headset that you can use to video call, share presentations, and conduct holographic classes. I hope this will not devolve into another novelty item like Google Glass, but the design looks pretty neat. Mbibe. Mbibe is a platform that will include video lectures, study material, personalized lessons, tests, practice sessions all weaved into one seamless experience. A competitor to Baiju's perhaps? Geo Health Hub. This is a platform that provides end-to-end -end healthcare services including online video consultation with doctors, lab tests, etc. Wait, wait, wait. There is something else that might cheer you up. Geo TV Plus. It's another ambitious project to aggregate multiple content platforms on Geo's set-top box. Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus Hotstar, Eros Now, YouTube, you name it. All your favorite streaming platforms in one place available with a single login. A masterstroke. Conclusion. After all, it's hard to overstate Geo's contribution to India's growth story. They've single-handedly altered the digital landscape in this country and in all likelihood will continue to shape it for many years to come. But as reliance begins to shape-shift and metamorphosize, they are starting to dwarf competition and subsume entire industries. They are prepping for war with incumbents on both fronts, digital and offline, and they are doing it at a pace that belies all expectations. It reminds me of another company called Amazon. What an uncanny resemblance, isn't it? We will look deep into Amazon in another episode of Tech Giants. If you found it useful, do like this video and share this knowledge with your friends. To stay updated, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get all notifications about our upcoming Tech Giants videos. Till then folks, have a great day and keep learning.